good morning, folks. Tango Joe here. Welcome to the show. Today happens to be National Apple Dumpling Day. So what are we doing? We're picking apples. So again, this is the beauty of living here on Long Island farm country. We were here last year, the year before. We've been doing this for about 10 years, coming out to the orchards and picking apples. Uh, how apropos, since today is National Apple Dumpling Day, we're gonna make some apple dumplings later. Uh, check this out. Oh, we're gonna cheat and use grands. I don't know how to make uh, dough that well, but uh, an apple picked is better than an apple picked up. And these are marvelous, nice and fresh. So, thanks for joining us out here in Mother Nature, and it's a nice overcast day, a little bit of a drizzle. This is, this is marvelous, and this place is packed. People bring in their kids out here. Uh, we brought our kids out here when they were little toddlers, and they get people running around, and it's just fantastic. So, um, we're going to pick some apples, and we'll make something to eat later. So, um, thank you for joining us, Tango Joe, at the Tango Joe Show. If you like this stuff, hit subscribe, please, and I think I might eat this one. See you later. That's right, it's apple season here in early autumn on Long Island. And we're gonna do something today that we've only done once before two days ago. We have a plethora of apples that we fresh picked from Lewin Farm Orchard out on the East End. And we've got a bunch of these things. We're gonna make cider today. We made cider the other day, a small batch, and it came out really, really, really tasty. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it outside. Uh, as you see, we're gonna do some wood stacking and stuff, but uh, let, let me give you the rundown of the ingredients for our special homemade apple cider. We have four different kind of apples that we've fresh picked. <laughs> uh, we're also going to have, whoops, we're also going to use oranges. Compare these, would you? So apples, oranges, we're going to put in some cinnamon sticks. We have some ground cloves. I'll have all the ingredients down below. I'm going to use pure cane sugar. I'll be putting in fresh from our garden some cayenne pepper and some serrano peppers and to continue spicing up our tango style cider I'm going to add some Southwest Sunset red chili powder. What we're going to do is going to chop up these apples we're going to get them in those pots behind me on the stove with the oranges peel and segment these oranges and just let it simmer in some water for a couple of hours. So uh, that's it. We're making homemade apple cider here. Thank you for joining us. We know this is going to turn out good because we did it the other day and it was fantastic. So uh, don't go buy any cider. Make your own. It's completely simple. Let's check this out. I'm going to get this stuff chopped. The next thing you'll see is all this stuff chopped. We add the last ingredients in the pot and we'll get simmering. Thank you again for joining us here at the Tango Joe Show on a beautiful autumn day. We'll be back. Okay, in our two pots, there's pot one, there's pot two. We happen to have, we have our apple segments, orange segments, took as much of the pith off as I could, left the peels on the apples. You got your cinnamon sticks, you got your serrano pepper, you got some cayenne peppers. There's a little bit of water, I'm gonna put the spices on, and then I'm gonna, as the Harley Davidsons go by once again. Um, then I'm gonna just put the water up just so it covers everything and simmer it for about two or three hours. We'll see how it goes. But with, you're gonna use about, depending on how sweet you want it, I want it more spicy than sweet. I use about two, three tablespoons of sugar in each. You can use regular granulated sugar. I happen to like this raw cane sugar. Um, ground cloves, not whole cloves. About a teaspoon-ish or so, sorta kinda. And then, 
You gotta have Southwest Sunset. You gotta have the chili powder in there for me. A teaspoon or so. That's gonna give it a bite. I want. I want. So I like cider that bites you back. So um, I'm gonna fill this with water. We'll get it simmering, and uh, let's get make, making some cider. Thank you for joining us outdoors today at the Tango Joe Show. So here we are. It's been 90 minutes since we set the cider on simmer. And when we did the cider the other day, we used a crock pot method, which like took all day, but hey, it's a crock pot. You set it and forget it. And we did at the end take the apples out and smoosh them up and put them back in. And right now, like I said, we're at 90 minutes and the apples are really falling apart. This is, this is perfect. I'm thinking this is great. This is way easier, way quicker. Uh, you got to keep an eye on it so it doesn't boil over, but this is fantastic. So, um, again, the apples with the oranges, the cloves, the cinnamon sticks, Southwest Sunset, and that sugar cane with the cayenne peppers and the serrano peppers, it smells amazing. I mean, it's, you're doing it outside, so I think the neighbors are like, yep, smells like autumn around here. So, um, I'm going to pop the lid, take a spoon, show you what it looks like at this point. And I think since it's already mushed up, I'm just going to let it go uh, on a low simmer for like another hour. I mean, it's not burning, and it's re it's it's reducing a little bit, but not too much. So, um, you know, if there's a, any of you who've made cider before, and got any tips, I mean, like, this is the second time that we, I've ever made it. So, uh, second time in two days. So, here we go. Let me take a look at this and uh, see what you think. It's almost ready. All right, so 90 minutes, well, 93 minutes at this point, but... Uh, yeah, look at that. Everything's breaking down, getting all mushy. Cinnamon sticks opening up. Chilies, nice and puffy. And the aroma, the aroma, oh my gosh, is just amazing. So smush a little bit up against the side here, and uh, we're gonna let it go. Wow. I could probably make applesauce this way, but Again, we're trying a spicy cider here. So we are at two hours in our cider, homemade in the backyard, epic adventure. So the place smells amazing. I mean, the, the spices, the cinnamon, the apples. But uh, what we've done is we've taken one pot and strained all the skin and all the big the spent meat out of it and uh, in, a, in a not so fine wire mesh. Um, we're letting some of the solids come through and put them back in the other bucket. Um, that's the one thing about this, it's, you know, cook, strain, cook, strain. I want to make sure it's really nice, but I want to get as much of that good juice as I can out of this. So uh, I'll show you the strainer that we've been using. And once this part's done, hey look, it's a yellow jacket, must be smelling the fruit. Ah! So anyway, once we get the non-fine mesh done, I'll show you how it looks before we do the uh, cheesecloth. We got some really good cheesecloth. We're gonna just really, really fine strain it, and uh, to make our final product, the apple cider. But uh, yeah, it's nice. It smells amazing out here. It smells like fall. So, so this is a large strainer we're using at first, just to get a lot of the liquid out, let some of the solids come through a little bit. Look at how those peppers. The peppers really got. Uh, oh yeah. I should use that in the quesadilla, but, um, and then we're going to combine these liquids, let it cook for a little while longer, and then fine strain it with some cheesecloth. This, you know, man, oh man, you should smell this. Chilies, spices, apples, oranges, wow. Cider making, Long Island. So in the interest, let me adjust this. In the interest of not taking up too much time with some unnecessary footage, I didn't film the straining of the apples and oranges and spices. Uh, hey, we don't know how to strain. Let me show you what we used though. First I used this. I had two pots going with the apples and the oranges. I put a large pot in the middle. And once the apples really broke down and we used a masher to mash them down a little bit more, we strained out a lot of the solids with this into a main pot and cooked that for a little while longer. 
about another 40 minutes and then we strained it three times with cheesecloth and that was perfect it was just nice and fine stuff and the thing was the aroma was amazing it's still amazing so out of the two pots we used 24 apples and four oranges split between them with the sugar and the spices and the cinnamon as the construction trucks go down the road keeping America working so and we got two two quarts and two cups two quarts and two cups of this marvelous looking cider now I happen to like my cider chilled so once it was all strained I put it in a large restaurant plastic container put it in a cooler of ice and iced it down and this has been in the fridge now for about an hour um, when you see the look of this See if I can do a pour. Look at that color. Hmm. Now it really has a, the smell of the cloves and the cinnamon and the chili peppers. <laughs> the first thing you get is that that sweetness of the apples and the oranges but then there's that bite there's the bite from the southwind sunset and the cayenne and the serrano peppers but it goes away real quick i mean had it had that bite now i got nothing so it not it's not like this i had a glass of cider i couldn't finish it it was so spicy no it's it's got that surpri it'll surprise you right away then it goes away and you enjoy some more So I'm going to have the entire recipe with all the adjustments we made on the fly in the description below and give it a shot, right? Apple season is probably apples growing all over the country right now. It's height of apple season. Get out there into nature. Pick yourself some apples. Go ahead and make an apple pie. Make an apple crisp. Have them right there off the tree. But uh, make yourself some apple cider. This stuff is really great. And that's it for today. Uh, this is Tango Joe at the Tango Joe Show. I appreciate you watching. Appreciate your comments. Thank you very much. Tell your friends. Kick back on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Enjoy some cider. We will see you again next time. Thank you. Please hang up and try again.